वेलकम टू मैथ्स जी हेलो फ्रेंड्स देयर इज ऑलवेज अ नीड ऑफ हेल्प इन कैलकुलेटिंग और सॉल्विंग मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑन डिफरेंट लेवल्स आई एम हियर फॉर द सेम टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व चैप्टर लीनियर इक्वेशंस क्लास 7 एक्सरसाइज 7.2 क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 सो इफ यू गाइस वांट टू सी द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ अर्लियर चैप्टर्स दैट इज integers fractions and decimals you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available moreover i have solved many chapters of class 8 maths book the chapters are rational numbers exponent square and square roots cube and cube roots playing with numbers linear equations in one variable algebraic expressions factorization of algebraic expressions percentage and its applications probability quadrilateral surface area and volume so if you uh, want to see the solution of that chapters you can go by the playlist so let's check it out how to solve question number 2 of exercise 7.2 so here in question number 2 check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation or not we have to do the check so we have been given n plus 5 is equal to 9 where n is equal to One. So how would we check it? We would put the value of n which is given to us instead of n that would be equal to six. So it is not equal to R H S because R H S in nineteen and here R H S is coming out to be a six. So we would write n is equal to one is not the solution of given equation hope the question is clear in second part the equation is given to be as 6x minus 5 where equal to 2x 6s i am mistaken so here 7n plus 5 equal to 19 where n is equal to minus 2 so we would write Seven minus two plus five equal to nineteen, so it would become minus fourteen plus five. That would be equal to minus nine, which is not equal to R H S. So therefore, n is equal to minus two is not the solution of given. equation let's move to the third part third part is 4n Plus five equal to nineteen, where n is equal to two. So here we would write four two plus five equal to eight plus five. That is equal to thirteen, which is not equal to R H S because R H S is ninety, so we would write therefore x is equal to two is not the solution of given equation. Let's move to the fourth part. So fourth part is given as four p. Minus three equal to thirteen, where p is equal to one. So we have put one instead of p. So four ones are four minus three. That is one, which is not equal to R H S. So therefore, p is equal to one is not. the solution of 
given equation. Let's move to the fifth part. So fifth part is 4p minus 3 equal to 13, where p is equal to minus 4. So 4 minus 4 minus 3 equal to 13. So it will be the minus 16 minus 3, that is minus 19, which is not equal to RHS. Therefore, P is equal to minus 4 is not the solution of given equation. Let's move to the sixth part. So sixth part is 4P minus 3 is equal to 13. P equal to 0. So we, will, we would put 4, 0, minus 3. That is 0, minus 3. That is minus 3, which is also not equal to RHS. So we would write, therefore, P equal to 0 is not the solution of given equation. So it's it was all about question number two, exercise 7.2. So if you guys facing any type of doubt, feel free to ask your doubt by commenting into the comment box. So if you guys like my videos or if it is some way helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.